Hey guys, welcome to Gaijin Anime, and today I'll be talking about some med scientist characters in anime. Medo scientisto. <laughs> Character that probably comes to mind first is Okabe Rintaro from Steins Gate, uh, who basically calls himself med scientist. He isn't though. Uh, he is more of a college student actually, and uh, he has some kind of a tunibio uh, where he thinks that a secret government agency is following him, which actually is true. But uh, yeah, he likes to assume the much more cool sounding nickname Hoin Kyoma. It does actually sound a lot cooler than his real name. He also uses various fake code words like Elpsai Kongru, which don't mean anything. <laughs> uh, he is kind of a paranoid and socially inept guy, talks to himself on the phone and uh, starts laughing for no apparent reason, you know, <laughs> mad the scientist to laugh. <laughs> but yeah, uh, his experiments start, start out kind of small and stupid, but it all gets kind of ugly, kind of quick at a certain point in the series. And I don't want to spoil more because you really should watch it to, uh, to see what happens because the plot is very complex and interesting in uh, Steins Gate. So recommendation by any means. The second character who is well kind of well known is uh, Orochimaru from Naruto who is kind of a medieval fantasy type mad scientist, not really the contemporary type mad scientist. Mostly into forbidden ninjutsu and all kinds of weird techniques like reviving the dead and stuff like that. Uh, he kind of dies a couple times during the season but always comes back, he's kind of almost unkillable created various clones based on dna of the first hokage and as you know clones are evil evil not really i mean but for some reason in most science fiction clones are considered evil um but yeah orochimaru is a kind of more more on the dark side of the force but well nevertheless pretty cool character Next is a guy who probably is one of the most hated characters in anime ever. Shotaker from Full Metal Alchemist. This guy is a state alchemist who basically for research grants um, went bad. And really all the way bad, not just a little bit, but seriously bad. And uh, he created a chimera doing some really nasty stuff to get his to keep his license well what can i say after you see this scene you basically just want to kill him right there yeah that's that's probably the the guy where the mad part is 90 percent and the scientist part is 10 percent because of course no ethical scientist should ever do something like that but uh regrettably in in, in real life history there were some that well, kind of went beyond, ab above and beyond. So yeah. Next up is Dr. Joe from Dragon Ball. He is, well, more of a stereotypical mad scientist, kind of old, wrinkly with a beard and always looking evil. Well, he's very cold hearted, stops at pretty much nothing. Um, basically kidnaps people, performs experiments on people and basically creates evil androids who then turn against him, but yeah. Number five, Takanomiya from Higurashi no, na, Higurashi no Nakokoroni. She is kind of a twisted character. Uh, I mean, from the looks, she is all cute and nice and she behaves nice for the most part, but actually she is kind of messed up in the head. She has a really long childhood history basically long ties to all uh, to Hinamizawa and uh, occult stuff but she she does get it pretty bad later on so next is one of my favorites and it's Hakubi Washu from Tenchi Muyo. Tenchi Muyo is a long time favorite of mine you can see the ultimate DVD box collection there on the shelf which I've had since the mid 90s I think well Washu is this is a really fun character. She is a kind of a quirky and funny type of mad scientist and uh, she basically creates a lab in a sub-dimension inside of Tenchi's house 
and runs various funny experiments <laughs> on him and uh, on, on everybody else around. And yeah, Washu is just real fun. <laughs>